Alright, what's going on guys? It's Liam here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I think is the new best Max Storm PvP build. So that's the Paragon 150 update, the Lemuria update, in case you're not aware of what the new max level is. But yeah, without further ado, I guess let's get right into it. And uh, be sure to sub to the channel, guys. Maybe like the video. I've been posting daily for almost five months now, about four and a half months. And also, I just want to shout it out. I am streaming on Twitch for the month of December, so if you stop by in the streams, uh, we're not going to be streaming on YouTube until January again. So feel free to come through on the Twitch. I'm streaming a lot on there. The link will be in the description below if you want to give it a follow and stop by. But yeah, let's get right into the video, guys. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to start off with are these stats. Now my health could be a tad bit better, but I am missing a couple of jewels, so keep that in mind. But you're going to have about 8.8 .8 to 8.9k HP with this specific build. You're going to have 133 damage, which is pretty solid, honestly. Um, prior to this update, you had 129. So it's nice that you have like a bit more, like, you know, 3, 4 more damage. A storm should be having that much. Uh, 51 res, obviously you're a glass can school. 91 flat, which is pretty good. Perfect accuracy. Solid crit and a solid block and nutty armor piercing, okay? This page right here is just absolutely just nuts in my opinion, okay? Um, but yeah, we got onto the next page here. We got about 25% pip conversion, which is more than enough in my opinion. I don't think you need to run any higher than that. I don't think pip conversion is that important on a storm. Even though I do use spells like Thunderbird, Stormwing, Catch, you know, it's only like... If you really think about it, you know, most of the time you're going to beetle away your power pip and then you'll have like maybe one good chance to get a pip conserve, you know. It's not like it'll completely change your game um, on a school as fast as Storm, right? Then you get perfect pips and 144 shads. That is like 11 more than the Dragoon setup. So I'm out shadding my opponents by like a turn or two on the first one. And on the second shad, because it is slower, I get it a whole like three rounds faster just about it's honestly kind of nuts and it's nice to see some you know synergy going into storm storm statistics but i'm gonna show you guys the build so i got the merciless storm cap you can get this from the final boss of lemuria or you can go ahead and craft it like this one right here you can get this in uh sky city i believe there's the recipe vendor there Check out my Lemuria crafting guide if you haven't already on the channel. I posted it about last week if you want help with that. Where to get old one artifacts, synth synthiums, and you know, all that stuff. But yeah, we're rocking this high compared to the goon. Because it gives you the extra pip, so now you don't pip fail. Because if you switch over to the goon here, you'll see. I actually have 99%, right? So I can pip fail. But with Merciless on, I have 100, right? Not to mention, one extra pierce on a school like Storm is so big, and the extra damage. You do lose some crit, I guess, but it's not really that important in this specific meta. And you gain 5 shads. So overall, I think the Merciless hat uh, suits Storm quite a bit more than the Dragoon Storm hat. Currently, also I, one thing I want to point out is you do lose some accuracy, so... If you're not running a jewel that is above 12%, you can base fizzle. So get yourself a 13, 14, 15% jewel if you can, so you do not base fizzle on your storm. Next up, we have the motorists. Obviously, they still have not put in a better robe than this one in the game, unfortunately. Um, I was thinking about running the goon robe to get the set bonus and like an extra pierce, but I feel like you just lose too much stats. I don't know, I might do a video over it, but... I think you just lose too much stats and resist to make it even worth it, so Motorist is still king. I'm using the Goon boots. You can use the Merciless ones if you would like. Um, you could do it for a build, but the reason I think this is so important, as you'll see coming up here, is because you need that set bonus, right? If you don't get that 7 accuracy on the set bonus, you, you're going to base fizzle. Like, there's, there's no chance. If you use the Demiurge and a 15%, you're still going to base fizzle, and you can't pierce enchant shads anymore, so you can't rely on that accuracy, right? You could infall, but then, you know, sometimes during the match, you don't have time to infall, you know, so it's safer just to have higher accuracy. But yeah, we got the goon boots here. 
I'm running the Supreme Electric Staff. Shout out to my boy Lael for farming and grinding this and selling it to me. I appreciate it. I did farm for two days and I didn't get it, unfortunately. I know. But I get this basically uh, from farming anywhere in heap, really. And the reason I, I don't have the exec anymore, right? I stitched it over, but you are gonna definitely 100 million percent want to upgrade this from the exec. Reason being is you get one extra shad, you get two extra pierce, and like I said, pierce on storm is like a massive deal, right? You get literally 10 more critical. I think there is like 83 on the exec, so that's pretty nice. And you get three more damage. So, like I said just a couple of minutes ago, it's so nice to see Storm that's actually getting, like, glass cannon-y type of stats. Like, it's so nice to see that they're getting love, like, damage, crit, pierce, you know? I think it's really, really nice that KI is doing that. Next up, I have the Goon Dagger and the Goon Amulet for the set bonus. A lot of people are going to be running the Masteries, but... With my strategy, I'm basically not going to meet any Rochambo, Rochambo requirements, so my opponents will be deck failing, and I'm just going to play smart and make sure they can't get value off of their Rochambos, and kind of play around with that. But yeah, this is how you get the set bonus. The Goon Dagger compared to the Merciless is kind of ass, but I did try a build with the Merciless. You do get almost 9k HP, you lose 2 damage, you know, you lose some block. And that's really about it. And you lose pip conversion. Um, I, I don't know. It's basically your options here are have 140 more health, but lose pip conserve, uh, lose block, lose damage. That's kind of how it is. But I still thought running goon was better for the set bonus and pip conserve and even the block, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's what I'm running on the theme and amulet. So again, hat, or not the hat. Choose a theme amulet. Aphrodite ring, it is still the king, unfortunately. I'm thinking about doing a video over like one of these critical rings, you know, just for some fun. But definitely get yourself this ring if you don't have it already. If you do, you'll be fine. Obviously, this pet, now now more than ever, to be honest with you, is going to be more meta for Storm. Uh, I'm talking about the talents, by the way. You can have an elf if you want, and then red side deck beetles if you'd like. That works just fine too. Personally, I like having the beetle in my main deck for cycling purposes, and I can pip conserve it, and I can get rid of my noob pip. Then obviously on a storm, you're gonna want the clockwork courser to increase your damage. Now, if you have the storm gulcher, I guess that's cool as well. But you gotta think about it. You're already above the damage intersection. You're already above 125. So. Will that 3 damage really help you if you're not getting the full 3 damage value, right? So, I think having the 2 pierce value would mean more, right? Because if you have 2 pierce, that means uh, more of your damage is going in, if that makes sense. Then obviously I have to do this deck. If you don't have this one yet, I would probably recommend the Omen deck. Uh, I don't have it on me right now, it's my bank, but it gives you like, you know, decent health, you know, decent copies. Uh, and it's just really solid credit block as well. The only thing is you lose pip conserve, but Omen deck or Duelist deck are going to be what you want for this 5th age, Rashambo, whatever you want to call it, meta. And yeah guys, that's about it. So just to quickly recap, Merciless Hat, Motorist Robe, Goon Boots, a theme and Amulet for the set bonus, Supreme Wand, you get this from Heap. Aphrodite Ring from the Gold Key Boss plants in the third part of Darkmoor. This pet, you can find it in the kiosk, or if you're in my Discord server, links in the description below. I will lend you guys any of my pets on my account. I am not very fussy. I'm not like a, a, a scalpy, greedy, and power trader, you know? Then Clockwork Courser and Duelist deck. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you guys out quite a bit. I know a lot of people have questions on, you know, uh, should I, you know, should I upgrade my gear? What piece should I get? Should I go for m full Merciless? You know, should I keep what I have before? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, if you made it this far and you're not subbed to the channel, please feel free to sub to it. Guys, it'd mean the world to me. And maybe leave a like. Uh, like I said, I've been posting daily for about almost five months now. And I think we're like three subs off of my sub goal. That's basically 500 for New Year's, and I'm giving away a membership, but 
Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, take care, guys.